3.14159265358. You have a teleprompter. Yeah. So I'm not impressed. Damn it. Hey guys, Tara and Trace here for D News, and wouldn't you know it's Pi Day, March 14th, the greatest day of the year. If Coincidentally, you say so. Also, the one year anniversary of my first appearance here on D News. Oh, that's pretty exciting. Yes. Last year, though, you and Anthony went to um, Mission Pie in San Francisco, right? Yes, we did. I'm very jealous. We of went that. to Mission Pie. We discussed the significance of pie while eating lots of pie. Easily one of my top three pie related experiences. But I remember um, after we did that video, I was reading some of the comments on it, and people were saying things like, pie sucks, it's all about tau. And then I thought, okay, well, so what is tau, and why is it better or worse than pie? Pop quiz. Okay. How many digits of tau can you recite from memory? Uh, none, maybe, no, 6.28. That's, that's pitiful, just stop. something. You're insulting me. Uh, but for those of you who didn't notice or don't already know, tau is actually just two times pi. It might seem convoluted to use when you put it that way, but that is only because we have been indoctrinated to believe that pi is the most significant the pi constant. pi tyranny. Yes, it really is tyranny. And in the same way, many people also believe that diameter is supposed to be the most important property of a circle, when in fact, the radius is much more significant. Hmm. Believe it or not, diameter is almost completely irrelevant in geometric calculations. I believe it. So, But what you're saying is, if the radius of a circle is more relevant than the diameter of the circle, yes. by that token, then tau, the ratio of a circle to its radius, is more appropriate to use than pi. So, because, you know, it is. Yes, technically that is correct. Not only is the tau equation more elegant when it's written out, but it actually makes more sense when you visualize it. Uh, angles are measured in radians, right? Not okay, degrees. Right. And every circle contains two pi radians, so a quarter of the circle corresponds to one half pi radians. This is confusing. And likewise, a half of a circle corresponds to pi radians. Nothing about that makes sense. No. But if we replaced two pi with tau, what would happen? I get it now. Okay, so then a whole circle would contain tau radians. Yes. So a quarter of that would be a quarter tau radians, and half would be half tau? Yes, exactly. It is a one-to-one -one ratio, which couldn't possibly that be is simpler so than that, right? Easy. Why didn't we always do this? If two pi has more significance than pi, why is pi so gangsta? Take well, it over. Well, pi slow your roll, pi is actually still a very important number. It just happens that geometry and trigonometry in particular rely so much more heavily on 2 pi than hmm. pi that it just makes sense to use tau instead. Okay. Also, and this is purely anecdotal, okay. but proponents of tau have often said that their students learn and comprehend geometry better when they learn it with tau instead of pi. But if that's the case, then why don't we just, I, I mean, I guess it would be kind of a hassle to ask all the youths to change everything that they know about math. Yeah, that is a good point. And in theory, tau is easier to learn from the get-go, but if you've already learned everything with pi, then chances are tau is just gonna confuse you. Down with pi tyranny. Mm -hmm. If someone had told me that pi was only half as cool, I probably wouldn't have gotten that now awkward pi tattoo. Ooh. <sighs> Math confuses me enough with it is, so I'm just gonna stick with the pi. That's a good choice. Yeah. I respect that. What about you guys? Are you pro pi, pro tau, or pro both? Hit us up on Twitter and let us know. Or if you're totally confused by math entirely, then just tell us your favorite flavor of pie. Because no one hates both math and pie. Uh, some people do. Nobody. We call them monsters. Oh.